Uh, anyway, now most of us have probably felt at some time that we paid a little too much for perhaps a bottle of wine, but how about £75,000? Uh, that's how much a private collector has forked out for a bottle of white, and it makes it the most expensive uh, to be sold. Yes, Nicola Pearson has been uh, going to see what they got for their money. At 200 years old, this is the bottle of Chateau de Chem, now featuring in the record books. And this is its new owner, French businessman Christian Vanek. He paid £75,000 for the rare vintage from the Bordeaux region, making it the most expensive bottle of white wine in the world. It'll be put on display in a bulletproof cabinet in its owner's new restaurant in Bali. I call it my petite folie. Petite folie is a little craziness, something you buy furtively like this, which is expensive of course, but you buy it for you. Well, this is the sort of wine many of us buy. I picked it up today for £7.50. So what's the difference between a bottle like this and one 10,000 times more expensive? My wine's on the right, a bottle from the same chateau as the record-breaking wine is on the left. It's a big difference in appearance. Also, if we just swirl the wine around the glass, we can see here that the chateau chem clings to the side of the glass. Mm, it reminds me of my grandmother making raspberry jam. Whereas here, okay, this is much more fragrant, it's more sort of gooseberries and more, it's just generally lighter. So you can tell that that glass is more expensive? It's all about concentration. But would you buy such an expensive bottle? No. <laughs> no, certainly not. Yeah, I'll take an Aston Martin instead, thanks very much. <laughs> not a drink. No way. Come on. Thank you very much indeed. It's the new great. owner says he'll open the bottle to celebrate an anniversary. At around £10,000 a glass, let's hope it doesn't disappoint. Nicola Pearson, BBC News in central London. Well, we're joined now in the studio by Ewan Lacey, a wine writer and the wine expert from the Channel 4 programme, The Cookery School. Hello, welcome. welcome. Nice to meet you. Welcome with your bottle of champagne. Oh, uh, yes, welcome. yes. I've been warned about you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Perfect Can we timing. Perfect timing, because we're just about to come off air and fancy a drink. So yes. what, do we get, what have you brought in for us to sample? Uh, well, it's a, a bottle... <laughs> I was asked to find something luxurious and expensive, and a larger bottle of this champagne was recently bought by the owner of the Dallas Mavericks basketball team <laughs> um, when they won the, the championship, the NBA championship in the States last month. And it, what, did they, what did it cost? $130,000. For a larger bottle a of A larger champagne. bottle, yes, of champagne. So same, same stuff inside, just a larger quantity. So what is that worth? This is probably a few hundred pounds. And is that because it's a, in a kind of rather, I don't know whether you say a beautiful bottle, but ornate bottle? Or is it because the quality of the champagne inside is so good? Yeah, it's, it's more to do with the quality of the champagne. You know, they, they've spent a long time hand-picking the fruit, getting the best fruit and so on and so forth. And uh, there are, there are uh, with the, the, the bottle of Chateau Yquem that's sold for so much money, part of it is the prestige and the way it's produced very expensively using, you know, hand-picking. Part of it's because it's 200 years old. Part of it's because it's, you know, it was from... But it would probably be undrinkable, won't it? I would, I would think it would actually be all right, because... Yeah? Yeah, Chateau Chem, it's so much sugar, so much alcohol, like honey doesn't go off, I'd bet that that wine wouldn't go off. So I wouldn't be surprised if they took out the cork and they had a really nice bottle of wine. But when would you drink a £75,000 bottle of champagne? I mean, you, you sell wine to people, so... What occasion is it that you're going to crack open a bottle like that? Uh, I, I, uh, if I was on commission, I'd wish that I'd sold some £75,000 bottles of wine. I haven't. But I suppose if you win the, the Formula One World Championship, if you sell your company for a billion dollars, I mean, it's very, very extreme. It's only a handful of people who could ever contemplate buying a bottle of wine like that. And most like of them that. put them in bulletproof cases and... You know, does that sort of lose the point, or...? Well, presumably, if it's in a restaurant, somebody could order it and, and buy it and drink it. Yeah, I met a guy in California, who very wealthy guy, and he said his favourite thing was a hamburger and chips and a bottle of Petrus. And Chateau Petrus is, a, you know, a £1,000 a bottle. Very expensive, yes. Yeah, so you have to be either mad or very rich, probably both. A, a, a little bit of both. I mean, the, when wine gets to that sort of price, it's not wine you should compare it with, it's fine art or antique jewellery. It's something that's... And it, yes, it's an investment, but be it so stratospherically out of reach for most people, to compare it with what you can get off the shelf in your local supermarket is, is perhaps incorrect. 
OK, are you going to give it to us? No. Uh, I was asked at uh, reception for three straws. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Exactly. <laughs> right. OK, we're off now. Yeah. Uh, Darren Bett's going to take over now. Ben will be here in a minute. We're going to get drunk. <laughs>